Hello. Today we have a story about a reading test. This is a story that affects people all over the world, students and people who need to succeed and have good reading skills. This is a life skill also for work and our pleasure time in reading. It's about saving time, it's about empowering your mind, being confident and focusing on what is right, where your mind can see the big picture and the details to give you success. So I started with um, a boy who was very overwhelmed and he's going to face a big exam. And he was very lucky because he discovered Sylvia's map that would give him great success in reading. I will speak quickly about the map now and take you through different stages in how we read, how we think and how we find correct answers. This is just part one. So, for reading and for exams, we need to focus first of all. In uh, most reading exams, the examiners are testing our general comprehension and our attention to detail. Now, general comprehension is very important for understanding the big picture and it's also good for helping you to train your right brain which holds images and helps you to develop memory hooks to help you to understand more and more both from what you read, from what you are tested on and your general understanding of everyday life. So by learning to excel in the exam with these reading tips you are also going to improve your mind, your brain power, your focus and quality of life. So, we are going to focus on the big picture, bird's eye view, in this series, which is part one. In part two, I will focus on detail. So, the big picture general understanding is for your general comprehension in the exam. Our right brain is able to go through a text really quickly and pick out the pictures, the visual words. So if I say I saw a big red house, my visual words are big red and house because I can see them in my mind, okay? Um, I will not focus on the word ah because I will not have a clear picture in my mind. When we read very, very quickly, we pick out the images and our mind will hook the images. And we will have a big picture of the passage and then we can run through the questions and learn part two, which is focusing on small detail. Okay, let's look at the rest of this. Right brain, speed reading, general gist technique in the following slides. 